What's going on everybody? Jason here. It's Friday night. We got the new, the second Glary guitar. This is the regular electric guitar with the amp. We're going to do an unboxing and, um, and jam on this just like we did the bass guitar on the video before this. And then um, I bought some new strings for this one and the bass. In part two of both of these guitars, we will throw on some new strings and set them up and uh, run them through Reaper and see how good of a sound we can get recording. But for now, we're going to unbox this Glary guitar, which I have been on YouTube and so far I have not seen one single video of this specific Glary guitar. So this should be the first video. Uh, this has the, the covered the covered pick uh, humbuckers, the high output ones. So this one's going to look pretty sick. So let's unbox this thing and uh, see what it can do. styrofoam oh wow that amplifier is tiny I did not buy this guitar for the amplifier unfortunately you cannot buy this without the amplifier but I'll probably just sell this on marketplace or something for 20 bucks That's pretty heavy. It must have a decent speaker in it. Not a bad little practice amp. Uh, for you beginners that are watching this video, I'll definitely plug this in and we'll try this out so you guys can see what that sounds like. Uh, we got another cheesy gig bag. Just like the bass guitar uh, strap. Guitar cable, you do have Allen wrenches in here to adjust your guitar truss rod and bridge and uh, and a pick. So let's check out the guitar here. It's definitely secure in here. That. Okay, there she is, the Glary Burning Fire. And this is the one with the high output double covered humbuckers. Uh, I did notice a blemish right here. And when I rubbed it with my fingers, I actually scratched the finish already. And now, I don't know if I have some dirt on my, my fingers or whatnot, but it seems like the finish is pretty cheap. It's a little dirty, I mean, it is shiny and stuff. It, it, it does look pretty cool. The guitar actually looks really small, but I put it up against my Flying V and did all the measurements. Actually, from the nut to the bridge, exactly right here is almost 26 inches, but the, the, uh, the neck is actually exactly as long as my Flying V. It looks small, but it's not. I think it's some optical illusion. Let's flip it over here. I do like how the neck is painted black. That's kind of cool. May not be as may not be as fast of a neck to shred on, but now this plate right here is flush. This one is not. This is just this is raised on the outside. I don't know if that's really gonna be a big deal. But uh, ooh, what do we got here? What do we have there? Hmm, glary. Wow. Looks like we got some damage there. Ah, oh, bastards. So this is definitely, looks like they banged it on something. After, after it was painted and finished, it looks like they, it's a, it's pressed in. Um, that does suck, I'm not gonna worry about it. I could send it back, but. I mean, is that a big deal? I guess not. I mean, how often are you gonna look at the back of the neck? But the frets feel about the same as the base. Not too bad. There's a little bit of grit. It's not horrible. Uh, the bridge is uh, set up horribly. 
need to screw down the bridge. These strings are all different heights, but all right, let's uh, let's plug her in and see how she sounds. Let's make sure she even works. Okay, I got everything hooked up here. We're gonna check out the guitar with the cable that came with the amplifier. I am using my own strap, and I did have to tune it up and raise the E string a little bit because it was way too uh, low. And as you can hear, my strap really uh, likes to make noise over here. Uh, tuners are pretty crappy, actually. There's a whole bunch of paint missing down there. Well, we'll dive in that deeper. Let's uh, let's see if the amp works. We got all the knobs tuned turned down. Make sure we got the. Plays clean. We're here for metal. Let's uh, let's turn that down. Let's. So it looks like you only got gain, bass, treble, and volume. There's no mid. So. thing about there's no feedback I've got the gain all the way up there's not much feedback. not too much neck dive well not as much as the bass because of where they put the strap connection right there but Thank you. 
uh, final thoughts on this guitar. I definitely like the bass better. Uh, the bass definitely feels a lot better quality, even though it's made of the same materials, the same woods, just because it's bigger and thicker. Um, I don't want to necessarily say this feels cheap. It's extremely light. I am disappointed with this blemish and the one on the back of the neck. There was definitely a ding, glary, uh, better quality control. I mean, for a hundred, I mean, I'm pretty sure this guitar by itself would be 110 bucks. With the amp, it's 130 for the kit. If you're a beginner, this is definitely a decent rig to get. Um, I don't know if you guys saw me playing the uh, little black knob on the pickup selector switch just pulls right off. I'm gonna have to probably super glue that or something. Maybe wedge a piece of paper just to hold that on. But um, again, all we did is just tune it up and play it just like the bass. Uh, this definitely needs a once over. We're gonna take it in the next video. We're gonna do a part two on the bass and this guitar. We're gonna cut off the strings. Um, we're gonna go over everything, make sure everything's tight and set it up. The neck on this, uh, as of right now, isn't bad. Uh, the neck is pretty straight. There's not too much buzz at all. Um, so that's definitely a plus. The tuners definitely suck. They're very gritty. Um, I'm gonna, once I get the strings off, I'm probably gonna take the tuners all the way off and maybe see if I can clean them or something. I think one video I watched, somebody said they had to clean them out. There was some debris, I don't know. Um, once I get the strings off, we'll mess with the tuners and see if we can smooth them out a little bit, but I mean it does look badass. It's pretty cool. There's a couple of those, the dings on the neck and right here kind of piss me off, but um, And it definitely has an interesting sound um, I'm not sure if these humbuckers actually sound like humbuckers. They actually almost sound like single coil pickups so I mean I believe they're humbuckers. I just I haven't played the Yamaha amp in a while, so it could just be the amp. We gotta wait till we run this through Reaper, and we will, in part two, like I said, once we change the strings and set this all up, uh, we'll run it through Reaper and see uh, how it sounds in a mix in recording. After jamming on this a little bit, I think the best thing on here so far is the neck. Um, the neck is very, very good. The frets aren't too, aren't too sharp. There's a little bit of grit, but it's nice and straight. There's hardly any fret buzz. The neck is really nice. The paint does make it a little bit harder to slide your hand, you know, you're definitely going to get some grip if you're, if you're sweaty or whatnot. And we'll see how much the fingers uh, mess with the finish on there, but I mean overall I'm happy with it. It's a nice match to the base. Alright, in closing guys, I think, I mean, it's definitely worth, I mean, with, for this guitar and the amp, I think that's worth 130 bucks. I mean, you're not getting the $500, $1,000 guitar, you get what you pay for. You're definitely going to have to set this up when you get it. Uh, the strings aren't bad. I don't think the strings are bad, but you would definitely want to take them off and, um, you know, just go over tight and everything and set it up to your liking. If you're a beginner, you're probably not going to be too happy playing this out of the box, just like the bass. You're going to need somebody to set this up for you. But for messing around, yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, that's the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments in the comment section. And uh, stay tuned, we're gonna do part two on this one, and we'll do a separate part two on the base. We're gonna set them up and run it through Reaper, and, uh, and then we'll see what these things can really do. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Metal till death out there.